and great start to the stream. We've got a new follower already. Thank you so much to our first. Hey! Thank, you, thank, you, thank you. Right, today we are playing Sonic Adventure 2 on the Dreamcast. So I hope you're all looking forward to this. This is actually my first time ever playing the Dreamcast version. So I'm actually really excited to check this out. Just in the volume a little bit. Let's get right into it. Hero story, here we go. And it'll be interesting to see whether we pick up any differences between the GameCube version, which I am very familiar with, and the Dreamcast version right here, which Sigma Alpha has two, some differences. Heading due south over the city. We'll We're en route. We Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. <laughs> Report cargo status of captured hedgehog aboard. Over. That's the voice acting sounds good. Cargo secured on board and... What? The Nick hedgehog is it. gone. Over. He's taken out everyone aboard and... What's wrong? What in the Come world? Come in. Over. Freeze! What do you think you're doing? Get that hedgehog! Even in 4x3, you can still see where the world ends when the Talk camera comes on. No, no food on movies. I'm out of here. I like running better. Uh, what a classic, classic start to an amazing game. I'm so excited to be playing this again, honestly. Yeah! Alright, everyone ready to sing along? Here we go, City Escape. Hopefully everything looks okay. I've been trying to get the OSSC to output somewhat decently with Dreamcast. I'll try and not sing along. Suspect seen heading south. Block all major roads and capture the suspect. Oh, I failed already. So far I haven't noticed any difference between this. And the GameCube one. I remember in the last stream someone actually told me that the uh, Dreamcast and GameCube versions were actually being made at the same time. Which is pretty interesting because I always thought that the Dreamcast one must have been worked on way before the GameCube one. They worked with that back. Hey Kanto Bound! Welcome to the stream. It's finally happening. I've been excited to play this. I'm glad you could make it. I'm going to try and see whether I can pick out any differences as we're playing through. Apparently Big the Cat makes an appearance at some point. That's something that's different. I don't know whether you saw that there on the hills. It says welcome. It doesn't say that in the GameCube. Oh, I just missed out on the speed. Speed Just Your You'll hear Live and Learn again later on. Oh, I don't know. Shall we try and go in the Chow Garden? See if there's any differences there. Look at that classic Soap Shoes logo. How cool is that? And there's another uh, Nights into Dreams picture behind us there. And Chaos Soda. And what does that one say? 256 hours free access. Get a free homepage. Emerald Network. Emerald Not Work. Not yeah, we might see Big the Cat at the end of this stage. Keep an eye out when you don't get out. There it is. This is the original version. Ah! I'm about to get hit. That was nice. I'm trying to see what's different. There's another new picture. SonicTeam.com I wonder whether that site is still live. There's another different one. Playing SA2 is habit forming. Don't turn off your DC. And even the benches have different pictures of them. Like got ring instead of got match, I guess. Yeah, in terms of actual differences, apart from all the posters and stuff, apparently the lighting's better on the Dreamcast. I don't think I've noticed any difference. Right, keep an eye out on the right-hand side, I think, down here. You might see Big Cat. 
casually standing around as his truck murders everyone in sight. Oh, also, anyone who's watching, has anyone ever managed to do a trick over these jumps here? There's one there. Is it even possible to do a trick over them? Or is there just not enough time to react? I didn't see Big the Cat. Did anyone see him? Yes! You saw him! Yay, I was too busy trying to get the rings. Yeah, what an incredible opening stage. It really is perfect. Too easy! Piece of cake! Oh no, I missed out on that A rank. It must be possible, else they wouldn't bother having those ramps there. Oh yeah, we get to go to the chow world because I picked up one of the keys. And I cleared off some room on the memory card so we can save one. So let's go and uh, see how it differs to the first Sonic Adventure. I don't think I picked one. Oh, the music's different. Listen to that, that's different compared to the GameCube. He still has his weird running animation going around in circles. As a kid I would just leave him to run around like this for ages. Especially Eggman, because of his really big legs. I always thought that was funny. Okay, got a few captions. Oh, two eggs right next to each other. Oh, I think I can already see the difference in the lighting quality. But look at, I guess, his... Eyebrows. I see they look a bit different. You never played in the Chow Garden. That's the whole joy of Sonic Adventure 2. Look at the VMU that says Chow on it. It is crazy how much better the graphics are in this compared to the first game as well. Let's try and hatch one. I don't know if there's an easy way of hatching them. So we just go. Just wait. Try and not throw them at the wall like I did last time. I swear this music's different too. It's a bit more laid back. Or maybe that's just because it hasn't matched it. Here it comes! Yay, there he is. Oh, you still don't get any um, stats. On the GameCube, when you pick them up, you can see what they're stacked on. But I think on the Dreamcast, you have to do them through the VME. But I still haven't got a memory card. I still haven't got a battery for the VME. Two bronze. Hello, welcome to the stream. Oh, I hit him. I'm sorry. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry, buddy. Let's see if we can put him in the VMU. Not sure whether it'll work on it because I haven't got a proper battery in there. Not enough free memory blocks. 128 blocks required. No way. That's too many. Okay. Never mind about him. Maybe I'll try and clear some space off. <laughs> the machine did nothing. I ejected him. Okay, straight onto the this boss fight. Game of tag is boring. I'm out of here. Hmm. Oh, finally, finally decided, decided to show, to show up, up, eh? up eh? okay. okay, bring it up. Bring it Fighter up. Fighter Troop Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. The intruder has been located. All the different posters in the background. We've got a fancy star online one up there. Oh, sometimes you can get it. Oh no. no! Oh my god, oh my god! No! Spider Troop Bigfoot reporting to headquarters. Pretend that didn't happen. Has been located. I'm good at Sonic Adventure 2, honestly. Aim for the cockpit. That is weak point. This is kind of similar to the first fight in Sonic Adventure 1. Fight the first form of chaos. It's in a kind of similar area. Got him before he had a chance to 
comes to time. I'm too busy looking at all, looking at all the posters. There's a chair in space for them. I actually got that poster for my birthday off the uh, Sega store. Christmas. Sarah got it there too. So a random Sonic 2 poster. I can't remember what they are in there. Really. I think the chair in space one is the same. I don't think that's Sonic 2 one, so. I really wish Sega would make it. I really wish that Sega would make it something. I think they're a bit worried after the um, This is Spud Street Bigfoot. Bigfoot to headquarters, over. We've engaged the enemy and request back. Although it's been so long, I don't think. I guess in some ways you could think of Sonic Frontiers as a Sonic Adventure. It has the same kind of feel to it. I might, after this, go back and free up some space for the minute. 128 blocks. Just one hedgehog. Brought down hey guys, take care! Mm. Yeah, Unleashed is more similar. I just wish you could play as other what? gameplay styles than just Sonic and the Werehog. I wasn't really a big fan of how slow the Werehog sections were. It all were. starts with this. A duel containing the ultimate power. Faker? Chaos Emerald! Oh yeah, that's the next one. Now I know what's going on! The military has mistaken me for the likes of you! You're going with that emerald! Say something, you fake hedgehog! Chaos Control! Wow! He's fast! Hey, it's not his speed! He must be using the Chaos Emerald to warp! In shadow. I'm the world's ultimate life. I love that they still cut each other off in the uh, farewell with the audio. What is that? Ah, he's referencing Sonic Adventure One there. I never picked that up before. It does mirror the start of Sonic Adventure One because he's surrounded by the police at the end of that game too. Or at the start, should I say. Just let it go! You just don't know when to give up! Everyone's favourite love interest, Bruce what are you the talking about? That emerald's mine! You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Thief! Look who's calling who a thief. He is following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, isn't it? Yes. Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll Where is it whispering me? Farewell, knucklehead. Not if I can help it. Yes, what, what a great excuse to go and hunt for Emerald pieces. Ah! What was that all about? Thanks, and Knuckles. We just set up again. My emerald. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. Doesn't matter. I'll look into it once I get back to the base. <laughs> I don't think he even knows why he wants it. I despise anyone who takes jewels from me. In the first game, he knew why he wanted it, because he was powering yeah, up chaos. We'll see about but that. Yeah, there's no, <laughs> there's no reason for him to be after it in this game. It's just, I think we need to have Dr. Eggman back. What can we do with him? That's pretty funny. <laughs> he literally had no idea what he was doing. Right. Before we get into that, I'm going to 
check what this is saved first. Story select. Options. Try and free up some space. File okay. select. Right. Let's hopefully we're going to free up what 128 was it? 128 meg, meg. I guess it's not megabytes. There's only seven free. Sonic Adventure 2. I don't think it's possible. I'd need like a completely blank memory card. I guess I can get a blank memory card. I have a lot of VMUs lying around. One second. A lot of memory cards for some reason. One of these will have enough space. Let's see. You've never seen the Dreamcast menu before. It's a really nice menu actually. Let's pick the one that's the uh, least sun damaged. And he's got three spare. Oh no, that's got my Skies of Arcadia save on. I don't want to get rid of that one. Oh, Metropolis Street Racer. What a, what a great game. Let's try this one. I want to basically find one that has a bunch of games on that I don't care about. Everything's got Crazy Taxi. Mr. Jolly Gunbird. What is that? Refault. Oh, I like I like I love Revolt. Okay, let's try and clear these off. Goodbye, Mr. Driller. Is there a way of clearing everything? X. Oh, you can choose the group related to that one game. Right. 196 free. Hey, okay, we can pick a different icon for it too. I don't even remember looking through these. Pick off a retro break. In blue, of course. I, could, I wish I could have done that beforehand. So we needed 180. I wonder whether I can do it like that, because that's the regular Chow file. And if I have the second memory card in, we can use that one. We can use that one to actually raise the Chow with. That's how they lock in the controller. It's got two slots in the back. So I've got my... And then you have the hole for the screen at the front. Alright, let's get back to it. And we can raise some chairs. Properly this time. Oh yeah, the intro is different. Look at this intro. Whoa! Do you like all the uh, emojis when that happens? Thanks for the raid, uh, Tech Geek TT. File select. Just in time for me to carry on. Select. The second level here. 
We don't need to watch that again. Uh, Kanto Brown says, I'm actually saving up to get a Sega console, but I'm torn between the Saturn and the Dreamcast. Ooh, what would we say, everyone? Let's ask everyone in the chat. I think Kanto Bound should go for the Dreamcast. Oh my god, look at that, it's right there. Two more left. No way. Between the red and green stripe. Me, or is it a bit darker than the GameCube version? No way! No way! Oh my god. Okay, let's try to go back to the chamber. Can't believe. Oh, there we go, we've got an animal too. Oh, special gem, Mr. Oh my god. Why is the screen going crazy still? What have I missed? Hey, I got a subscription. Thank you. We've got one more to find. I kind of find the uh, the whole chain raising system more fun than the actual game sometimes. I don't think it's my. Um, Cables making it harder. I think the game is just, uh, just dark. Right, do we think the emerald is back in the right? Oh, yeah, you can get animals out of these pipes too. I'm gonna try and get this last one without using the hint. More animals! This is gonna be one crazy chain. Decide whether to say that Kanto Bound should have Dreamcast or a Sega Saturn. We decide. I would, I would probably say Dreamcast. Oh, I missed what that said then. If you if you pause the game, you can actually see the hints. Between the red and green striped pillars, a dark place. The whole game is a dark place. Those two really easy. I just saved you guys from an advert break. Although I love the Sega Saturn, I'd probably say the Dreamcast has held up better, or it doesn't feel as dated if you want to get back to play it today. Well, there are some great games on the Saturn, obviously, like some dreams. Right, there it is. It was just hanging out there the whole time. I found him. Yay. If you do get a Dreamcast, let me know. I can give you some yeah, suggestions. Yeah, I feel good. B rank, not bad. That's something I miss from more modern Sonic games as well, is collecting the emblems. 
I used to love that so much. All right, hopefully. Welcome to Chow World. Probably wouldn't shut up about it. I had to approve the term "shut up." How dare you say that? <laughs> Some people like to try and like, coordinate the animals they give to their chairs to make them a certain way, but whatever. I just feed them everything I've got. It's a bit diff a bit weird on this one because you can't see the stats. Now there. Domination am I creating? Now there. People are creative. Yeah. It also takes forever if you actually want to train one properly. If you want to unlock all of the gardens and stuff. Oh, well done. You're yeah. probably already better than the chain from the last game. If we've actually got the option to throw him into the machine this time. Use this slot to... Is it doing it? Saving Chain Adventure 2, do not even know the Is it doing it? It's thinking about it. It's still thinking about it. Save complete. I don't know. Will he just stay in there now? Oh, that's it. He's gone. Forever. I'll try and order some batteries on Amazon soon and we can actually try out what it's like to play with the chairs on the memory card. Because they do have their own little set of buttons and mini games that you can play on there and stuff. Which is pretty fun. There's no mistake about it. This must be the island. It's a secret military base. I love Tails' theme in this game. And super strong. It's called Prison Island. I heard the news about it on satellite TV. Maybe. I still can't believe that Sonic can destroy the military building. Or rob the bank. Wait for me, okay, Sonic? I'm on my way. Sonic's got arrested again. Hey, look, it's Amy. And Eggman, too. What's Amy doing here? Doesn't matter. I have to help Amy because she's in danger. It <laughs> doesn't matter. I'll just leave Amy to get kidnapped. I only care about Sonic. This tornado's definitely got an upgrade over the first game. Do we fight Eggman? Is that the first part of Tails' story? <clears throat> How does everyone feel about all the different characters' stories being rolled together in this one, compared to in the first game where they were all separated out? You won't do it. It's better or worse. Yeah, go! Go! Ah, that's it. I'm gonna destroy. I quite like it because it definitely gives it a lot of variety. You won't escape me this time. Because basically, whenever I've replayed Sonic Adventure One on my own, I only really bother playing through Sonic and Tails' stories. Sorry. But, if I play Sonic Adventure 2, obviously, because of the way it works, you have to play through all the stories. So I feel like, thanks to the structure in the game like this, it's actually giving me more of a reason to play more. Hey, how's that? Hmm, I can see that way of thinking as well. I definitely think that Sonic and Shadow should have had more levels. Because the Tails and Knuckles ones do go on a bit compared to the Sonic this ones. This time I'll let you go, but the next time we meet, you won't be so lucky. And I do kind of miss the adventure areas. But what are you doing here on this island? I'm the one who should be asking that question. Don't you know it's dangerous here? No, but I'm here to save my hero, Sonic. 
Sonic Adventure one's definitely better if you're more picky about what kind of game you want to play. Okay, you stay here and right back. Come on, Everyone wants to save Sonic. We've got to go through Tails' first stage first. Which is basically longer and slower versions of E102 Gamma's levels. Okay. But with awesome music. I love all the music in Tails' levels. Okay! This is how cool this is! It's so good. It feels weird coming to these levels without any of the power-ups. Later on in the game you get things like... Um, uh, hover. Boost and stuff. Yeah, the whole soundtrack's really good. Use that rock and cannon to destroy wooden containers! Probably one of my favourite game soundtracks ever. So a beat and catch the whole thing. There's a chair of thin over here on the right, I guess. So good. And I think in some ways the Dreamcast version looks a lot nicer too. Like look at the texture quality and the lighting of the house. I've seen some comparison screenshots and it's a lot flatter on the GameCube. I'm not sure why that is. But I did have someone tell me that the controls are a bit okay. broken on the Dreamcast version, but I haven't really noticed that. I find it amazing that this is running on a console from 1998. It's so impressive. Sega was way ahead of the competition, at least for a short time. I'm going to skip out all the above level sections here. Hey to Mark, hello! How are you doing this evening? Just used my last snooze for the adverts. Like Ten minutes or so. Okay. 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 Oh no! I don't know how you're supposed to get that capsule. But I always thought those silver enemies okay. jumped better. I mean, that's something I can't do yet either. It's very good. Sorry, Tails. Oh, I'm being a bit careless. Let's get a gorilla. I want to make a gorilla change. Show where I am. That was easy. Uh, 15 degrees. Tomorrow is going to be 19 and rainy. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit.
Yeah, at least it's not like last summer. It was crazy hot last summer. Welcome to Chow World! Three, <laughs> now we get the player into styles. Oh yeah, the kindergarten's open as well, mate. Let's go and feed him up, shall we? 30, wow. I've seen that in in Europe they're having a heat wave. Is it um Greece or something? There's some forest fires. I wish Tails had normal levels as well where you can just fly around. Oh yeah, he isn't anywhere because I put him away. Shall we pull him out? How do I remove him? Extract him. Is he being extracted? The machine just sucked him out. Now we can turn him into a gorilla. Ish. Ish. Yeah, I wish you could play as Tails like this as well. I do like the mech stages, but. Everything will be okay. Ish, you're shot. Ush. You're shot. You're shot. I love his. You're shot. I presume all the different colours do something. Let's just feed him these last few. There's only a few here. Why was he confused then? He's happy. That's something that's different on the GameCube. The GameCube actually has that, like, going into a tunnel, whereas on here it's just like a, a brick wall. So, is that white screen there just tails as he ran headfirst into the wall and knocked himself out? And the rest of the game is just in his imagination. <laughs> huh? Amy? <laughs> Have no fear, Amy Rose is here. Amy Rose is here! My friend Dean loves that How did you get here? Oh yeah, something else that's well, on the Dreamcast version but not I the GameCube. When you see Sonic next, have a look Are at the sure you don't need shadows of the bars it cast on it. Like you could use it. The reason I'm in here for some reason on the GameCube there's no shadows. Hedgehog. You mean that black hedgehog? Did you see it? Where is it now? If I tell you, will you marry me? No way! I thought I had you this time! I try harder than that, Amy, but she still let him in. That black hedgehog came here with Dr. Eggman. So, Eggman's behind this, huh? What's all that writing on the wall anyway? Did you write that? He hasn't been in there that long. Wait for me, Sonic! He's such a brat sometimes. What is all that writing on the wall? Eggman's master plan. Yeah, awesome level time! Metal Harbor. A lot of people's favourite stage. And again, incredible music. I haven't got the light speed shoes yet. I was about to go for the rings up the side. Oh no. And I missed the. Uh... That's where I'm more worried about. I can't go over there! Oh no! I'm not gonna have to do the normal route. I never go this way. There it is. Light shoes. The light dash is so much better in this game compared to Adventure 1. Whee! Look how much nicer that is. You don't have to charge it up. Missed the checkpoint. How cool was this game? This would have been mind blowing when it first came out. It was. I played it the day it came out on the GameCube, anyway. Dreamcast. 
even cooler for the Dreamcast, I think. It's, it's great that Sega did release it on both, so that people who had a Dreamcast could still play it. Let's do some grinding. <laughs> Oh, I missed the chase button. Missile launch in 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. I'm sure there's there's a way of getting higher up. Or you get different points depending on how high up you are. It is such a great game. It's so... Ah, oh, it's just perfect. Like, the way it controls, the way it sounds, the crazy storylines, the crazy levels and... All the different set pieces in the stages and stuff. It's so good. I think the people who like to complain about it just have never played it properly. Woo! Yes! That level's too short. It deserves to be like five times longer. But you get to come back to the levels and do different missions as the game goes on, so there's reasons to come back. Four emblems, whoa. I think on the first game I'm on about 30 now. I did go back and do some of the missions after. I was enjoying it that much. I went back and played it on my own after the stream. In some ways the missions are more fun in the first one. Because it's mostly um, like so far, time so trials good. and stuff. Hey, that's that blue hedgehog again of all. favorite cutscene. I found you. Faker! Faker? I think you're, you're the, the fake, fake hedgehog, hedgehog around here. here. You're comparing yourself to Are you me. Ready? Huh. You're not even good enough to be. I'll my... make you eat those words! There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. Oh no! Ah! Pretend that never happened. There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. It's true. You won't be able to just attack him. Try something to lower his defenses. Oh my god. I swear you can't go through the walls on the GameCube one. There's no time to play games. You won't even get the chance. You can't attack him from the... Yeah, I can't take these cutscenes seriously either anymore. I'm the coolest. I'm the coolest. Oh my god, Shadow's so cool. So edgy. Oh, the edge. Go on, just fall off like I did. Oh, I see. So you're not just a hedgehog. I'm not just a hedgehog. What gave it away? Was it the shoes? Oops. Got him. That was kind of scary. Do you know who I am? <laughs> yeah, Shadow must be cool because he says he is. Who else is cool? I'm cool. I'm the coolest. Now we get another cool level. Green Forest. And yeah, it was definitely the shoes. Look how cool them shoes are. Only cool people have soap shoes. Shadow, what are you doing? Hurry and get back here right now before the island blows up with you on it! Blows up?! Awesome music. Another really cool level too. I 
is actually the first level that I ever played of Sonic Adventure 2. Before I got it on the GameCube, there was a Dreamcast at one of my like, youth club things that I went to. And people had been playing on it, and this was the level that I got a turn to go on. So that, that was a really cool like, first experience. For some reason, the only, the only other game they had on the Dreamcast was Echo and Dolphin. I bought some new sketches today, does that make me cool? Only the cool kids have sketches. I bought them because they begin with S, like Sonic. Let's go back to the Chow Garden. I want to make the ultimate life for them. I was going to say, let's see what's in that fight. Shall we try? If I don't die on the way back down. I think the shoe is to the stream. Yeah. That means whenever I play a game that doesn't begin with S, I'll have to go and buy some new shoes. <laughs> match. Bungee time. I don't know where that balloon comes from, but I'm glad it does. I can't use the light dash because I've got the ring collecting thing on. I'd better start plugging my Patreon more so I can afford all these shoes. Uh, oh no! It didn't work! I think I was too far away. I forgot what I was supposed to do. Huh? Let's see if I can get out of Awesome! We did yes. it! <laughs> e rank! Barely made it. Just because I messed up once. That's a bit harsh. I guess it thinks I only got 10 rings. Right, where are we going next? After the Che World. I can't really remember the order of this game, it has been a while since I played it. I think the last time I played it was the uh, all the widescreen hacks and stuff. Welcome to Che World! On the PC Steam version. But there's something fun about playing the original. You get to you get to appreciate it running on the on the actual console and it feels more Feels more impressive in a way. Can I only get two animals. Wait, is this even the same chain? No, it's not. I guess I'm raising two now. Oh no, look how sad he is. He's coming out to get some vitamin tablets. Here you go. Spend too long though. Yeah, it's pretty cool playing this with the Dreamcast controller as well. Ooh, CG cutscene! Explosions. I think this is the first CG cutscene so far, which is a lot less than the first game. The first game was really showing off the CG right from the start. 
in a mountainous region. Uh, Pumpkin Hill. You ready for the Knuckles rap? Everyone's favourite. This place sure feels haunted. There's no time to lose. I have to hurry and find the Master Emerald. Let's see if I'm as lucky as last time. Shovel Claw. Let's see if I we can get like these events. Knuckles, and we're at Pumpkin Hill. You ready? I ain't gonna let it get to me. People were upset that the radar only does one at a time. In the first game, you can basically uh, tackle it in any order you want. I can't see a thing, but it's around somewhere. I'm gonna hold my head because I have no fear. This probably seems crazy, crazy. Oh, scary train. I suppose the idea is Hey, big sailor! I found you, big. I don't know how you got in there. I wonder why they took Big out of the GameCube one. It feels like a weird omission. I guess we're gonna have to use him. We'll be on this level forever. This is Oh no! I kill on the chain. I'm not going to help you anymore. Played both Sonic Adventures. Do you think it's close to one or two is better? One more left. Oh, I didn't need that hint. The final one's close to. He won't help us. Is that big the cat? On the GameCube, the, um, the balloons aren't He has an emerald inside him sometimes. Not on Pumpkin Mountain? Looks 
like it. It's closer. It's close. There's a bat too. Cool. to it being right there. my A rank on this stage. Oh, damn it, it was right in the middle. I'm sure I tried that. Okay, well, anyway, got it. And I didn't get an E. No way. I thought that was going to be an E for sure. Let's try and turn him into a skeleton now, shall we? Welcome to Chow World! I think I prefer Knuckles' stages in this game because at least they're unique levels. Whereas in the first game you're playing through the same areas that you've already been to. Who was the other one? Him. There we go. Let's see what happens to him. Changed his feet into skeleton feet. Yeah, I know people like giving him these ones to give him like the Halloween things. There we go, now he's got back wings. And then we'll ruin it by give it, giving him a tiger. Bat tiger. I suppose I can give him an orange as well. Oh no, it's not on there. It's only on the tray. Apparently they've been eating all the oranges while we've been gone. <laughs> Poor child. He just sits there and takes it. He has no say in what animal he becomes. Day X. Oh, here we go. Another classic. Lend me your ears and listen to me, America. My name is Dr. Eggman. The internet's really ruined these cutscenes. Soon to be the world's greatest ruler. Now witness the beginning of the greatest empire of all time. <laughs> I just noticed what it says in the background. I am a genius. I am great. I 
someone put this or the uh, other version of it on one of the billboards in Times Square. Without the sound, obviously. about the wallpaper on that hacker's computer says, I am a genius, I am great. Look! Half of the moon is gone? Eggman! Oh, that creep never gives up! But how did he manage to harness all that energy? It's got to be the Chaos Emeralds. Yeah, that's the reason they were looking for him! Tails is like, yes, now I can blow the moon up too. They have the power to attract each other. I can use that to find what Eggman is. I dream you, dreams! Put your hands up in the air and get off the ground! I'll take care of the police while you try and find a way out of here. Find Eggman! Got it! The three of you? That means me too! Hey, wait! Amy's turn to get arrested. Yeah, I love his voice. Cheesy, but not too cheesy. Yeah, yeah I love this stage too, Mission Street. Amazing music as well. Probably my favourite music, actually. Okay. I learned to stop there. This level is horrible if you're trying to get 100, 100 okay. rings. Let's see whether I can do it. Because on Tails' last time, it was being very... Oh yeah, I don't hover yet. I think I'll be able to in this stage. This is what he's going Yeah, there it is. I remembered. Music restarts. Oh, there's a pipe under there. I never noticed that. Shall we, shall we risk it? All it gave us was a rabbit that we'd already got anyway. Oh no! Oh, we've got to wait again. I feel like once Amy got married, she wouldn't have a life's purpose anymore and she'd get really depressed. Now, now what do I do? There's nothing for me to chase anymore. So, maybe the fact that she isn't married is good for her. Special enemy. I don't know what they do. Just give you a few extra points or something. How good is this music? Okay. You can hear it over all the explosions. a little bit on that one before it collapses. Okay. Let's switch over here to stop that from falling down. Okay. Poor sheep was crushed under that pillar this whole time. To save his life. 
still alive. Okay. How did the builders let a sheep <laughs> be inside it? Destroy that screen. How dare you be after Tales. What these pillars are, but they're everywhere in this game. That's why it's called the hero story, because you're heroically rescuing all the enemies. Apart from that one. Why would the road be built like that? Why would it collapse in the middle? It does not seem like a safe idea. Okay, there are any stray bombs here. All those guys landed on my head. So. And the ceiling collapsing. Almost forgot that. Oh, so I nearly lost it. struggle so much. Is there an animal in the bin? Sometimes there is. I can't get that bin. So, I guess we did it. 110 rings. I did it! The president doesn't care. He's too busy driving down an endless road in the easy. sky. I think we get to do that cart level next, don't we? After the Chai world again. Welcome to Chai world! Bum, 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 bum. It's throwing me off though, that music's different. I'm used to hearing the, the one from Sonic Adventure 1, that really upbeat music. No more wings, you're a gorilla now. He looks like that angry baby from The Simpsons. Maggie's rival. Eggman who makes the weird as nice. To be like, Yosh! Let's go to a mountainous region. Sounds like we're going to be doing a knuckle stage. Oh no, I remember this one taking forever. You have to raise and lower the different water levels, I think. If I remember right. <clears throat> hmm. I didn't expect the inside of the mines to be like this. This is going to be tougher than I thought. Okay, we got one. 
is nearby right off the bat. terrifying in this one. I don't know why, it seems extra dark, don't you think? Maybe compared to normal. I'm gonna try something, one second. best I can do with these cables. Does it look better? I think, yeah, it's made the whites a bit too bright. But, um, the cable, well, the, the thing that puts it into into HD really doesn't like the resolution that the Dreamcast has. Yeah. I really want to get one of those retro tank things soon. They're so expensive. I'm gonna try and save up some more cheese. Oh yeah, this is... I guess that's basically what it is. It's trying to translate it simply by doing a bad job of it. This is some explosion of the But I gotta do it, they always stay out of line. Sometimes I wanna just chill and land. But I'm the protector of the emeralds and chill. I think I can do it. In a deep cut, I'm seeing skulls that burn. It's a little water. Avoiding my luck, I'm feeling kind of stuck. When I call me nothing, give me a box. I'm in narrow hallways 
running like it's a ball game. Hand track, we track and we track with the ball way. Different areas are accessible depending on the water levels. I had to change the water. To dive underwater, press the e button. But remember, you have to come up for a breath sometimes. I figured that, but I can't find the switch. Ah. Okay, we get to fight that ghost soon, don't we? Under the floating platform at the back, something. Under the floating platform at the back. Oh! That way. Oh, okay, I get it now. So now that we've raised the water up. there. It really is the water temple. It's closer. One more left. Uh. Oh my god, that sounds terrifying. What? It let me keep it? Okay, I won't complain. Stair shaped brick room. This place looks familiar. Yeah, it's scary, isn't it? And the weird static noise when you die as well. I don't like it. I can't! I can't! I can't! I feel like that. Sorry, I'm fine. I'm underwater path behind the portion side. Different areas are accessible depending on the water levels. to be trying to go through that whole tunnel system. Rats. 
we try going back through that tunnel then? Okay, ready? Hold your breath. Three, two, one, go! bubbles anywhere. Oh my god, there's nothing down there anyway. Sorry. Here. I didn't know it was in the roof. Oh, that would have made it so much easier. Back and forth across the tracks. What the hell is up with the radar? It's just. Well, the tracks in the middle area. Yeah. God. I found him. I was, yeah, I was so confused. There's got to be an E. <laughs> I have to try harder. I have to try harder. I know, knuckles. I'm sorry. There always seems to be a lot of police around when you don't need them. Tails, any news yet? For some reason, oh I'm God, not getting a signal from the six remaining right Chaos Emeralds. Maybe Eggman took the Emeralds into outer space. Outer space? Knuckles! Hey guys, long time no see. I must have got lost in the mines. Looking for the Master Emerald really pieces was tougher than mines. I thought it would be. Where are we anyway? Hey, where are you going? Move aside, Knuckles! I managed to find the transcripts between Eggman and the President in the government computer. I'm following the President's limo right now! Yeah, I think I've found a nice balance with it. If we get into the limo, we can trace the call to find Eggman. Okay, let's meet up there! Have a look and see how much they are, because it can do interlaced, uh, interlaced signal really well. They're probably crazy expensive though. The president must be over there. Three hundred and twenty-five dollars. Now, what does everyone think? Is this an upgrade from Twinkle Park? Definitely takes a bit of uh, getting used to the weird controls. But once you get the hang of them, the way you um, tap the accelerator to drift, it'll be pretty fun. And again, the music's fantastic. It's definitely a brilliant theme with this game of music. Oh, I could have used that before. 
is what I was on about, the president's just driving down an endless random road in the sky. Who designed this road? It doesn't go anywhere. Why is it so twisty if it's in the sky? The questions we'll never have the answers to. dangerous. And the cars are so light, they just go flying in the air at the lightest touch. There's some really annoying missions, which are like, get through it without hitting any other cars, or clear the stage without touching the walls. Oh, where did that car go? I guess because that's the end of the stage. We'll find the president in a second. Oh, is that what this is? It's purgatory. Okay. Yeah! There he is. The <laughs> Tails said they hacked the Pentagon, and Sonic's just like cool. Yeah. <laughs> that's awesome. Look at him driving down the endless road. Has he seen the light? Is there a big golden gate at the end? Just out of reach forever. <laughs> Mini game unlocked. Woo. I don't know if it's the same on the Dreamcast, but on the Mr. GameCube, President, reports show that characters. since the incident three hours ago, the country is in turmoil. Oh, now he's back on our a normal financial road. communities are impacted, and our satellite communications are down. Is that Maria's an emergency mom? meeting it has been called. Like Mr. President, this is a national crisis. Mr. President's too busy trying Spare to look for the Big details. the Cat out the window. Exactly just what is it that you want? Dr. Eggman? <laughs> well, let's just get down to business then, shall Look we, Mr. Look at the Windows President. 95 operating system. I will bore you with all the details the since there. I know you are a very busy man. Mr. President, my demands are quite simple. Surrender to the Eggman Empire and make no attempts to resist. Otherwise... Otherwise... Otherwise, your country will cease to exist. You have 24 hours to give me your answer. No way! What the? <laughs> Eggman Empire! Yeah, right! What the heck's going on here? Don't oh, worry, no. Mr. Prince, we'll have this is. under control. Just leave it to us! Got it, Tails? I got it! He's transmitting from the space colony R! Okay, let's move! He's transmitting onto a floppy Wait disk. Up, are you waiting? Mr. President, <laughs> we're receiving an incoming signal from our agent. What is going on? Oh well, better stop the Eggman Empire. But in the meantime... Inside that pyramid? I saw Eggman go inside the pyramid. And more importantly, I saw that Batgirl go inside I love how insane well. the story is. It takes some really weird too, turns. Right? Well, yeah! We should be able to get into outer space from there. <laughs> I don't know what the space colony is all about, but I'll find and destroy that cannon. One and minute they're in San Francisco, and right. then a few seconds later they just I'm appear in Egypt and find a spaceship inside the pyramid. Don't question it. <laughs> it's brilliant. I don't know 
why, but I remember being really impressed by the textures on the wall in this level. of Rescue the Animals. There's a whole separate area here just for that one penguin stuck up there. Why did they build all of these structures with dynamite attached to the walls? We thought that was a good idea. people here. Ooh, nine cool people. That one here is cool. Of course you are. Okay. I think he was just really fed up. He said, oh, yeah, whatever. Put some bombs on the wall. I, I don't care. Just build me a pyramid. And put some random pipes everywhere so that we can whistle to get some animals. Sounds like a bad There's nothing in them. Uh, what was the point of going over there? Noticed that there's so many random pipes lying around. I always just rush through the levels. I thought I might try and put a bit more time into it. Although there's not really much as more you can do. trying to look around there anymore.
Have you tried slow descent using hovering? Well, been getting around. Have you not been watching? Okay. Okay. Sometimes the camera can be a bit hit on this in this game. Okay. I don't know whether they changed anything. Okay. Okay. Break a lot of walls and it. blow up some dynamite. I did it, Sonic! Oh, we got an A somehow. Even though I was just mindlessly walking forward the whole time. That's our first A rank. Welcome to World. I don't even know if giving them extra animals actually increases their stats or whether it just changes how they look. Let's see whether we can make him luminous green this time. You're going to end up looking like the monster I'm drinking. And Chow Nitro. Sponsored by Nitro Energy. Another guy, wherever he is. He is. He can be a penguin tiger. Today. Oh, not you. I don't want to ruin my sponsorship. I know you could sure. shake the animals too. You're sure. You're sure. You're sure. You're sure. You're sure. Wait. Yeah, I might do. I was thinking about going back to 100% the first game as well, so I have to do some chain training for that too. Maybe I'll try and 100% both the games after I've played through them casually. Then I can do like a, a story video about how I raised my chow. Infiltrate Eggman's hidden base. Here we go. Watch out, Eggman. Hedgehog's after you. Yeah, you can jump through them to get some extra points. And enjoy the cool music. I love the music on the stage too. That's where you get the bounce from. Rip the hourglass to open the door. Watch the hourglass. Doors close when time is up. Ah, why am I going to the point? The camera didn't like the video last time. Same robots from the first game. Bounce attack. That whistle is the same as the whistle from uh, Sonic's theme tune. I think this 
version's a bit different, actually. Like this Oh, what a what a tricky puzzle. Oh my god. There's probably some speed run in tactics. I don't know. We need that guy who was on the last stream. He's done nothing but play Sonic Adventure for two years in order to perfect it. Ah, get off me. I don't want a hug. Ah! I want to hug, I don't want to be shot. What are you going for? There was a bomb right there. That's okay, I can get my hands back. Okay, I've got a little bit more of a puzzle to get this thing back. God! These enemies are more annoying than I remember. I don't remember these robots being so aggressive. I don't remember these ghosts being so aggressive. Ah, uh, I'm doing terribly. I'm trying to get through the rooms. That was cool, I like that. Just about made that. That was close. Uh, again. I love the design of this level. It looks so cool, doesn't it? Where? I think I missed one of those silver enemies. Right there. Down there. Oh, I love it though. Ooh, double loop the loop. The camera doesn't really know what to do there, does it? Ah, uh, what a what a stage. What a stage. That's so cool. Just made it. C. I thought I deserved more than a C on that one. Yeah, the Sonic and Shadow stages are just amazing in this game. Maybe the best state of any Sonic game. Maybe. Welcome to Chow World. Welcome back. To Chai World, where every day the Chai is a new animal. He's still got his gorilla monobrow. There we go. Sorry about that, buddy. Let's give him some backgrounds. We like to move backgrounds. Oh no! He just made him float instead. Okay. Well. This time on Chow World, we removed his feet. <laughs> yeah, it's like some really messed up children's TV program where you just mutilate Looks animals like and then leave. The center of the base. That egghead sure loves mechanical things, doesn't he? I'll bet he has one or two spaceships lying around. Oh man, he loves mechanics. The door is locked. We need a key to get in there. No problem. We can find it. Right, Knuckles? What? 
Why do I have to find the key? We're counting on you, buddy. Not just one key. The greatest treasure I'm free. <laughs> that echidna sure loves finding things. Oh my god, these robots do know I'm streaming, don't they? Really wants me to make it. Must be one of the power-ups or something. There it is. Hammer gloves. Now we can break iron boxes. I remember this level getting really confusing too. Pyramid tool. A huge complex machine is working. This is where I just came from. And there's like teleporting circles and all sorts of weird things in the stage. Blue path. Yes, I'm in the blue path. Thanks for nothing. It's closer. There it is. I swear the bug used to change. Not if I can help at all, will I let it? Uh, robots are out to get me in this game. Alright. I swear a bug used to change. This level took me the longest. Not the ones in space. I know that people really have a problem with the um, asteroid field ones. So, I'm just following the path. I can't remember what the hint said. The place where the bug used to be. Three bugs on that side. That's quite a clever hint. See where it was. What is the point of giving me speed boost? One more left. Inside the weird outline of a bug. Want to go that way? Then down there. Change. 
Alright. This level is massive. There's so many different rooms. Ah, go away. Oh, it's not in here anyway. A ring is buried on one side. And it can... I don't think that's how you're supposed to break through them. Came from here. Rat. Uh -huh, the two Eggmans facing each other. I never even noticed them. Yay, we did it. That wasn't too painful. Definitely face Not worse. Too bad. Knuckles levels. As Knuckles said, not too bad. Yeah, I didn't know I could dig on them either, so it's a good job I read that clue. Also, would have been really confused though. <laughs> What the? It's King Boom Boo! A ghost? Oh, the font's different. It's just white on the GameCube, if I remember right. What the sound he makes, it's so weird. <laughs> Sun burns. What a what a get back here. I love this boss fight, it's so fun. I don't think you can hit him twice, and it has really fun music too. Can you hit him twice. Um. <laughs> If you go too fast, he turns around and starts chasing you. I think it did actually. I'm sure whoever did the voice for this had a lot of fun. Run, Knuckles, run! Faster! Look how fast his arms are moving, oh my god. You know what else I just realised? It's super impressive that this runs at 60 frames a second on the Dreamcast. Isn't that insane? If they can really push this system to its absolute limits. <laughs> yeah, Knuckles got zoomies. I know all too well about the zoomies. Having two cats, they go insane. 
every night. The doggy goes insane every time he digs in the ground. Look at him go! Knuckles has been having some of that monster energy. Oh, he's too close! Yeah, it really is insane. I mean, imagine something like this attempting to be run on the PS1 or the N64. Or even the PC at the time. Like, I don't remember there being anything this smooth. With controls this responsive. It really was way ahead. In terms of presentation, at least. I'm not saying that the N64 and PS1 had bad games on it. Hey! I really enjoy that fight. That's so good. Huh. What a hassle. Dun, dun, dun. Nintendo could never. And then a year later, Sonic Adventure 2 is on the GameCube. And then after that, the first one is, but I ruined it. <sighs> that was pretty rough. We did it! Let's go, Amy! Yeah! You little thieves! Did you really think huh? that? Yeah, Eggman's theme tune. Come and get some! I love the lyrics. Sonic! Just leave it to me! This time, as well as the chaos that I call on you to destroy these pests! Come off my servant! I am the Eggman! That's what I am, I am the Eggman! Did you see there were some leaked documents recently about Sega's financial issues in the late 90s? They knew they knew they couldn't keep the Dreamcast going. Even even when the Saturn was still going. They were just in they had way too much internal trouble going on. There was nothing they could have done really. Ah. But it would have been so cool to see what they did next. Or even to see how the Dreamcast fared during that generation, because by the time that generation had started, the Dreamcast was already out of the race, basically. It was a whole generation ahead, really, when you think about it. A lot of Dreamcast games came out on the PS2 or the GameCube. And a lot of sequels to them came out on the Xbox as well, I guess. With things like Crazy Taxi 3 and Jet Set Radio 2 and things. And then you basically add ports to the GameCube, like Skies of Arcadia. Obviously, the Sonic Adventure games. And then there's things like Super Monkey Ball, which would have been on the Dreamcast. Oh, he's just gonna do a headbutt. Okay. They really nailed the controls in this game. It just feels so good to control Sonic. Okay. I could not imagine doing something like this in any of the modern Sonic games. It just feels so floaty and unresponsive. I don't know how they managed to go backwards. Like this and the first game just feel fantastic. Woo, we're done. Nice try, Rocky. Oh nice. How come you went for the 2x and not the 5x? I am tempted to wait a bit longer now as well because uh, Mike T, I think his name is, he's been showing off on Twitter that they're making the uh, RetroTink 4K. Which is going to 
come out at some Seven, point this year. Six, five, Ooh, more CG. Eggman sure likes his, his... What did they say? Mechanics? It felt so much more epic back then. Look at this. It's just insane. This is the space colony where Eggman is hiding. Watch out for that asteroid. What the? Is everyone Someone hasn't right? played Star Fox. No! Soon. The hatch doors don't are open! Sweat it, Knuckles! The oh, only no. thing in the cargo bay are those what master emeralds. What do you mean, emeralds. don't sweat it? Right? Land the Knock shuttle and let Knuckles. me out! We're gonna crash this thing if you keep that up! Oh no! Don't touch that lever! <laughs> Oh, nice. Does the N64 look okay with that? What's up with it? I really just want something to uh, take over the shuttle. I thought we were toast. I want something sure. to get rid of all the interlacing huh? artifacts. Right? Where did he go now? Looks like he bailed. Yeah, I love the way the characters interact with this each other. This place looks deserted, dusty too. This place was shut down about 50 years ago because of a terrible accident. The first Bernoulli spherical space colony called like Dead Space. Ark. When it was operational, we discovered it was the uh, most advanced research the space station of its that kind. got took over but by necromorphs. It now. now it's an abandoned Ark, wouldn't you say? There's not much time saying. left before Eggman fires that weapon again. We've got to hurry. Let's find the cannon and destroy it. Yeah! Someone designed that weapon to be impenetrable from outside attacks. Its defense shields are super strong, so we have to find a way to destroy it. Isn't from that a chaos? I don't know what was going on with Sonic then. Like 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 it doesn't. <laughs> but in fact, it's a fake one I created after researching the real emerald. It has the same wavelength and properties, but it's less powerful than the real one. It's designed to reverse the energy field inside the chaos emeralds and blow up. It looks so real, even a machine can't tell the difference. Look how much better the lighting is on the Dreamcast. Sonic, you find the if you remember what this looks okay. like on the GameCube, so it's so much more... We'll switch the Chaos Emeralds when the machine is stuck, right? So it feels like it's all part of the same scene. A lot more. I hate you! You guys always leave me behind and have all the fun! Huh, she even got cut off from finishing a sentence. All the fu- Fu- uh, 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 uh. Destroy the power generator. Another yeah, tiles level. Okay! I always love the design of this stage. It looks so cool and futuristic. And again, obviously the music's awesome. To be careful here about not blowing up the hatches to the outside. Because you get sucked out into space. Uh, I think there's some lighting differences here as well. Look, look how the rings are a different colour because of the uh, lighting. Ring. Uh oh, uh oh! Oh, I have to get that switch as well, don't I? Ah! Yeah, it definitely has better colours. Like, in this room, it's just blue on the GameCube, whereas this is like 
atmospheric green, like the cylinders are reflecting on the floor and stuff. And the way the rings reflect the same green as well. It looks a lot okay. nicer. Gotta be more careful. without destroying the bridge. I feel that's the first. And these as well. Look how much nicer the capsules look. You can see through them. I don't think I'm just imagining this. Okay. I love this music so much. Oh no, Sonic! If the dynamite taps oh, back here again. The colony will be damaged. You will be sucked out into space. Have I definitely tempted you to get a Dreamcast instead of a Sega Saturn? I mean, obviously my answer is get both. Maybe I'll play a Saturn game on stream next. You got any suggestions? What you'd like to see on the Saturn? Obviously, I would love to try and get Panzer Dragoon Saga. Or okay. Oh, that game is just shooting up in price every time I try and look at it. I always get annoyed that that missile doesn't actually break all the blocks. If you go down the corner. Like that. Even things like these red hooks illuminate differently. They have more depth to them. And the checkpoint as well. That was the other thing I noticed. But wait, the only, the only Saturn game you know of is a, is a Mega Drive game. Well, I will definitely introduce you to some good Sega Saturn games. I've been thinking about playing Burning Rangers because I did spend quite a bit of money on that. Uh, I didn't realise the floor had broken that. Burning Rangers was another um, Sonic Team game. With some very impressive graphics. I would love to finish Panzer Dragoon 2 at some point. I play the first one a lot, but the second one I've never actually got to end up. Ah! No, that's not fair. I didn't know the floor was going to collapse there. Careful. The, uh... Oh, right, okay, it was on that side. I see. I don't know what I did wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah, if you think this level's long, wait until um, Eggman's stage or Wall or something, something like that. And that, that stage is like 10 minutes long. I think the enemy actually helped me there. He blasted me back onto the path. Oh! I've got to stop knocking onto the walls. Oh, power up! What have we got? Bazooka. Oh yeah, Sonic R. Actually, I did. I did. I did do a stream of Sonic R about a year ago. One of the first games that I ever did on the channel. That I 
with the destroy. Oh god, where am I going? Okay. Sonic R is actually really fun. Okay. Don't listen to all the haters. I love it. I love it for what it is. Obviously, compared to Mario Kart, it's still great. I don't know how to kill them enemies properly. I always get hit. Uh, I thought I was safe. Nope, nope they just wanted me to blow up and over. Oh yeah, random floating in space section. My power is failing! You have hardly any control. And you can't even lock onto enemies properly because your radar thing is spinning around up there. Let me in, let me in! It's not my fault, Tails! I had no control! Oh, man. Is my background real? Yeah, it's real. There's the Dreamcast on the table. I am here. Also welcome. First time chat. Well, at least it gave me all my health back. I hate this section. Okay, okay. I want to be in my game room. Go and join me. Play Sonic. There's a load more games over there. If it can turn around, just about. I've got it balanced on top. Oh, I should probably close the blinds. People can probably see me streaming. If you want to see my game room, I've done some tours on YouTube. Uh, I love that you can see the other monitor behind me. Yeah, I thought I would just leave it on in the background because it's something to lock out, isn't it? That's where it's actually plugged into. And then there's all them cables on the wall up there. I still want to improve the game room so much, there's so much more I want to do with it. Outside of just getting a bigger room to display everything nicely. Okay. I hate those blob enemies so much. Yeah. Okay. So, Mission Impossible and Tails. Oh! I almost died. I really do awesome. Uh, there we go. I did Level it. complete! <laughs> Sorry. I was just thinking that actually. I think they are time. supposed to be chaos. Which... I don't know whether that makes sense story-wise. And I think I also remember reading somewhere that Mission Street is supposed to be like one of the streets further on from Station Square from the first game. And the music is similar, or it uses the same, Welcome to the same melody or something. Not sure. There are a few references to Sonic Adventure 1, which I never, I never understood at the time. Yeah, I don't really understand how the two games fit together at all. Just pretend that none of Sonic Adventure 1 happened, I guess, because Eggman doesn't know what the Emerald does anymore. Um, maybe I should look into it a bit more. What are the story beats between the two? What connects the games together? Apart from them both having Sonic as the main character. Sonic doesn't really feel like a main character in this game. It's like, 
everyone's a main character because they all have big soldiers. There we go, chairs are fed. Moving on. Anyone watching or listening, do you know how Sonic Adventure 1 and 2 fit together? Right, so now we are back on the space colony. Okay, Sonic. Apparently this now bit looks a lot nicer on the Dreamcast too. Tails! Tell Sonic to meet you back at the research facility! Sonic! Now. Amy is! I, I didn't get that, Tails! What happened to Amy? Tails! Yeah, do it. Go and do some research into how Sonic Adventure 1 and 2's lore fits together. You could put it on Tumblr. I'm sure I'm following you over there. Oh no, this is the stage everyone hates. Meteor Herd. Are you ready for me to get completely lost? <laughs> this level is just insanely big. Yeah, do it. I'm quite excited to see it now. You have to do it. Between the floating containers. I don't know why I say all of them hints in Omocho's voice. It's kind of a mix of Omocho's voice and the Tikal orb from the first game. So you have to now. Retro Break said so. You can't let me down. It is your duty to write a detailed explanation as to the more kind of I need to know. If you do do that, I'll give it a shout out in the video. I'll probably reference it in the story sections. Between the inverted blue tower and the steel tower. Do it, that means you've got to start writing now. I always think I want to write really deep, interesting posts like that, and then I think, oh, I haven't got time. I just want to keep making videos. It's closer. If I had the free time, I would definitely get back into two more left. I used to be There's a lot of stuff that I used to post on a website called Playfire. Back in the early 2010s, maybe late 2000s, the website got closed down. There was a load of posts on there that never got saved anyway. Like the I remember I did some really big ones about the Italian games in the PS2. But they were probably terrible, but I had fun writing them at the time. The scale of this level is insane, it just keeps going. It is kind of annoying that they changed how the radar works compared to the first one. Because in the first one you could hunt them in any order you want. Did I just see one? Oh my god, I just... It's just there! I was about to say, in the first game, you can collect them in any order you want, and then I just found one out of order. Oh my god. That is... That is so impressive. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> and I didn't put any effort into the background for the stream either, it's just how my background is. <laughs> Yeah, keep having a look around, you can get some inspiration. But I do also have some like, professional lighting in front of me as well that really helps. 
was kind of a waste. All this camera equipment and stuff just for a tiny little thumbnail in the corner. Uh, in front of a big door that never opens. Do you think I need to go back down again? I'll try to just keep going around and see whether it triggers the wave. your favourite retro console then to collect for or to play? I've been thinking about making some videos about game collecting. Like what systems I enjoy collecting for, what were some of the most exciting finds that I've found over the years and things like that. Yellow ground. Does that mean go back down to the bottom? Just yellow ground? This is where we fight Rouge in a bit. Okay, it's down the bottom too. 1064. Cool. Quite an easy system to collect for. A lot of the games are still fairly affordable. Hmm, where's my, my N64 games over there? Can you see them? There's some there. And a few games a bit further down that are just off screen. Oh, well the price is bad in Brazil. Cool. Maybe I'll steal his idea. I'll add that to my watch list later. Oh, I didn't see what that said. In front of a big door, it never opens. I must move in this. I love the aesthetics of this stage. It just looks really cool. I don't need another hint. I know what I'm doing. This big mining equipment thing. Those levels are so big. I wonder how many different possibilities there are um, for the different animals. Hey, look at that! My footprints on the on the glass. This one was challenged a bit. Be careful! Falling meteorites! If you get hit, no, it'll hurt! It must be over here. I don't need another hint, do I? It's yellow, it must be fives. Oh, is it further up? It's right there. that to break the door open? I've never had to use this before. Is it even higher up? It's got to be close, the radar is going crazy. So confused. We can't be far away. It's close. Oh, 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 I thought it was in there. Is it inside this one? Right. There it is. Here, right here. Right. 
I'll just keep doing this because I missed it on the train tracks. Because of this. Here I come. Alright. Oh my god, I'm getting so much stuff. Alright. Here I come. Big door that never opens. What am I doing wrong? Alright. This is a Kento. Hello. Who's throwing things at us? I think they're just frustrated watching me play so badly. They're just chucking stuff my way. Um, Rats, yes, lots of rats. What is the rarest item? Maybe my signed copy of Chrono Trigger. It's definitely something that I'm very proud of. Come on, where the hell is this emerald? It's right here. Alright. Here I come. It's right here, where is it? Alright. I'm actually going to check every inch of dirt here. In front of a big door that never opens. Okay, yeah, I get it. Yellow ground. Dig under the beacon in front of the door shaped face. Alright, 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 rats, yes. That's all I can say. Dig under the beacon. I haven't got any more hints left to get. In front of a big door that never opens. Yes, I'm in front of a big door. Yellow ground. I don't know what that means. Dig under the beacon in front of the pyramid-shaped base. What do you mean? What beacon? The only thing I can think of is that. Alright. Alright. Hey, you said something different. Seriously, I'm gonna have to look up a video to see which part of the floor I'm supposed to be digging in here. Come on, this is this is getting silly now. Alright. I'm finding a lot of rings. Okay. I'm gonna cheat. Um. Let's see, what can I look up on YouTube to find this? Uh. Meteor. Add. Dig under. Pyramid shaped base. I'll try and Google it instead because I don't think something that specific is going to be on YouTube. Oh, that's no good. That walkthrough just told me restart if you get any of these hints. 
That was one of the hints. I don't need to break through the door. Do I have to use that? Oh, I thought I'd figured it out then. Oh, I can't find a... Let's have a look. There's an Emerald Hunting FIQ here. The emerald wasn't underground. And it's definitely here. Do you think the game's glitched? Should I restart? I think it might have glitched. I think it should be here. Yay, Canto Bound. You're doing it! Alright. I've restarted, so you've... You've got at least another 10 minutes to continue writing your draft. Let's try this again. Okay, the floating containers, I know where they are. Everyone else can then enjoy the ambience as I replay this stage again. I thought I was doing so well after I just stumbled into that second one. This is kind of a relaxing tune to get to. I like the synth. Your two usernames work well together. This level's bad, wait until you see Rouge's version. That one's crazy because it's got different planets with different gravity systems and stuff. So it's just a lot more confusing than this one. This one's kind of straightforward in comparison. Literally dug in every single spot where it was dead. It must have been. Uh, after this, we get to fight Rouge on the stage and use it for some. The tip of the arc. Oh no, I do have to go right way to the top. Damn it. At least there's a rocket to help me. 
do them sort of things in multiplayer and really wind up the other, the other player. Well, the worst is when you play as Amy and you freeze time. I remember when I first moved to uni, one of my friends thought he was like the best person ever about playing Sonic and F-Zero and stuff. But I just think he hadn't met that many people because I completely like, beat him every single time he tried to play against me. And he was getting really annoyed. Hey, there it is. Come on, it's just out of reach. God damn it. One more left. One more left. I'm guessing the next one's further down. Okay, down, down, down. Yeah, it can be really unfair in multiplayer. I think they needed to limit. Well, they had to in increase the amount of rings that you need in order to send them and things off. I wonder if the multiplayer in this is much different. Than people. Circle rotating the That means nothing to me. At least the hints are more interesting than Adventure 1, which basically just says, Go this way. Go this way. Thanks to Carl, we can do a bit more interesting. Oh my god. 20 tabs on adventure stages from Sonic Adventure. I'm trying to see if there's any links between the two. I'm sure there's some sort of link between um, Station Square and Mission Street. There's probably a load more of them. Why is there a seal just swimming around in the sky? the machine. I thought it was pretty good. It's it's kind of slow though in places. I, I got a little bit burnt out on GB Studio games honestly. That's why I haven't really been talking about them much recently. They all start to feel kind of similar after a while. Not to say that they're bad but I just needed to take a break. Although saying that I did get three more earlier today through limited run. I'm not even getting any blips on the radar. Right I need more hints. No hint. Spring summer. I'm not getting anywhere. Oh yeah, I really enjoyed Pine Creek. In fact, I wrote a script for the review of Pine Creek, but I never made the review in the end. I thought it was a very interesting game. I'm so lost. Again. Circle the rotating beacon. That's the only hint I've got. Correct. Sonic Galaxy. Wait until you see Rouge's version of this stage. Rotating and moving on the square stone. 
Where's a square stone platform? We will see what that said. A lot of small meteorites. Rotating and moving on the square stone platform with a spring. What does that mean? Oh no! Why did no one tell me sooner? Let's try that. How's that? Is that better? Hopefully, hopefully that's made a bit of a difference. Maybe a bit less for the game audio. I hate trying to set audio settings on here because I can't hear what it sounds like, so I just rely on people telling me whether it's any good or not. And it was okay for Sonic Adventure 1, but I guess the um, volume levels between the games are different. And welcome, by the way. If you only just got here. Maybe make the mic even a bit higher. Alright, how about... How about that? Or is that too loud? How about there? How about that? This just doesn't make any sense. Cool. I'll leave it at that then. This doesn't make any sense. You're right, Knuckles. It doesn't make any sense. Again, I'm completely lost. I can't see any... any uh, meteorites that it was telling me to try and find. to keep going higher. This level has completely slowed down any progress that I was making. I can't even see any smaller meteorites, but I don't know whether that's because the Dreamcast um, has more Colin than the GameCube, like it, you can't see the objects until you get closer to them, maybe. Ah, why can't I grab onto that? Make sure I'm in the middle there. Right, let's go higher. Let's go all the way to the top. There must be meteorites around here somewhere. No, I'm only streaming on Twitch. I used to think it'd be a good idea to stream on YouTube as well, but it didn't really work out and it messes up all my analytics in the background. Oh, I'm sorry guys, this level's going on forever. Guys and girls, I should say. Okay, I'm just going to do a really long fly around of the entire stage. See whether we come across anything. There's some meteorites here. There's one. Nothing. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. Maybe I'll have to try and Google it again. Or anyone who's watching, try and Google circuit. I'll try and do it actually. A lot of small meteorites. I just want a list of all the different emeralds that you can find. Oh, great. I found a guide here, and the first thing it says is, Ugh, I hate space stages. That doesn't help. Is there no website that just 
breaks it down based on what hints you've got. There's a there's a thing on the Steam community that says I can't beat stage fourteen. After many tries and many many hours, I can't beat stage fourteen. They spent three straight hours searching for them and they can't find them. But they didn't know how to use the hint boxes. Great. Right, a lot of small meteorites rotating and moving the square. Um, right, platforms above the tower left of the six container storage area. Okay, here's the storage area. Left from what angle? Platforms above the tower. To the left. It's on about... I don't know what it's on about. What tower? What platforms? Platforms above the tower, left of the six container storage area, there is a square stone platform with a spring and a round artificial chaos. Am I looking for one of these platforms that has a spring on it? I do not, I do not understand what it's trying to tell me to do. Here's the containers. Are they? Is it? <laughs> Finally, it's lit up. For a second. Oh my god. I'm close. Finally. There it is. Ah! That's the platform it was on about with the spring. Oh my god, come on, please let me get it. Oh, that was painful. That was so painful. I have to. Ah! Oh man, I'm so glad that's over. I'm so glad that's over. If you Google Metroid, it has a cool animation. Ooh, I want to try that. Oh, wow! Whoa, and the screen shakes when it hits the button, too. That's awesome. I don't even care. I'll take the E. It's like taking the L. I'll take the E. Now we get to rub random animals in this thing's face. But, I, uh... What time is it? It's half ten already. Oh my god. I thought I was gonna finish the uh, hero story by the end of the tonight. I know if you Google Katamari... Um... You can click on the little Katamari ball and roll it around on the page. Try that one. That one's really fun. No see, treasure hunter. Did you find my I've got, I've got two VMUs in there. And then I have about six loose ones on the table here because I was trying to find one with enough space. Alright. Finally time to fight. I remember this fight being annoying. 
floor opens up in a second, but they both get blasted off into the into the air. Whoa. Ah. I also love this music too. Oh, no, I haven't got your rings. Yay, finally. Hey, somehow I managed to get two hits in at once then. Three! Yes. Uh oh, oh no! Wow, you're just starting your evening then. Um, you can try and share a link. I don't know whether I've got the option turned on or not. When she starts, that's the time to attack. Um, someone wanted to share a link last time and they had to um, whisper it to me and then I could share it with people. So, you can try if it's relevant. But I cannot promise that anyone will be able to see it. Oh yeah. I did fix it last time. What is it? What? You just put in spam in the chat. It has a reference to the bat I'm fighting. Okay. I'll leave it there, I'll watch it after this then. Or I'll watch it tonight when I'm finished if I remember. Where is that bat I'm fighting anyway? <laughs> okay, I trust you. Come on! Come and fight me! This is supposed to be a boss fight. Where are you? Whoa! A gifted sub! Thank you. Or well, thank you whoever gifted it, I suppose. Look at the crazy animation that I got set up for it. Right, one more hit! It's a lot easier when the floor's closed. I can do that too. Yeah, we did it. Get away from my emerald. Hey, thank you for the subscribe. I guess that's what you say. Thank you for the subscription. Now we get a showdown over the lava. Look at that repeating lava texture. Stop fooling around and give me back my emeralds. What are you babbling about? Call yourself a hunter attacking a lady? Shame on you. Shame on you, Knuckles. Stealing gems anyway. Those belong to me. I think Knuckles is the only person who's um, got the same theme tune as in the last game. Whoa! We got emojis everywhere again. Thanks, Bezos. I don't think he has anything to do it with it anymore, does he? This isn't a joke. I'm missing all the cutscene now. I was saving the Master Emerald. No matter what you say, it sounds crazy. What? Fine, then just take them. They stink like a kid. What a burn. You should have given me them in the first place. Finally. What? I'm sorry if I hurt you. It's a cool song. It goes through the backstory of Sonic Adventure 1, I think. If you can pay attention to the lyrics over them talking over it. Ah, <laughs> no, but it should be. They should, if they ever remake Sonic Adventure 2, Idris Elba should definitely be Knuckles. Crazy gadget. 
This is a this is a cool level if I remember right. One of the last Sonic stages. I think there's only one more after this. Yeah, this is the one with the gravity switch in. This is a cool one. What did everyone think of the Sonic movies? If you've seen them. I thought they were okay, although they did feel a little bit too childish or adult friendly. I think he did a great job with Knuckles. It was very deep and serious. Yeah, too much humans, not enough. Not enough. Um, I was hoping for something more like Sonic Adventure, like really out there and crazy. I don't mind it having humans, but it just felt like a, a generic family film that happened to have Sonic in it, in a way. Uh, I'm going to see Barbie on the weekend. My girlfriend's dragging me to see it. We did go and see Oppenheimer last weekend, which is what I actually wanted to see. I have to say it was a very good film. Very thought-provoking. But yeah, I'm sure very different to Barbie. Yeah. I definitely much preferred the Mario movie, if we're talking about um, gaming movies. But yeah, I, w I was blown away by Oppenheimer. I was like... I know it was three hours long, but I really felt like it should have been longer. It was so fast-paced and there was so much going on. Like, there was a lot to keep track of. But, yeah, definitely made me want to learn more about history and stuff too, which is always good. If something can do that, then, you know, they've done something right. Yeah, it was kind of. Oh no, I missed the missed the damn grinding rail. I remember getting really frustrated at this level as a kid, and now I'm doing the same thing. Why do you think the toads were looking at Mario strangely? What do you mean? I don't remember the toads looking at Mario strangely. <laughs> Is there some weird conspiracy theory going on about the Mario movie or something? Oh yeah, I forgot I can do that bounce attack. There we go. I love the Mario movie so much. The whole time I was just thinking, like, if I watched this as a kid, it would have been my favourite thing ever. Uh, I don't know whether I've got time for this. <gasps> oh, no. It didn't, it didn't trigger the light speed dash. Is that what we're meant to do? Yeah, that worked. Okay, I'm going to wait for them to use their shields. <clears throat> there we can go. Um, is the film suggesting they are not used to humans, or is there a deeper theme? I doubt there's any deeper themes. But I know people like to look for themes. I hate these enemies. Oh yeah, Canto Bound, if you're still listening, make sure you find out if these enemies are actually chaos. Oh, I haven't got the power up to be able to spin through them. They must be around here somewhere. Is it in this level? 
I think it might be. Oops. Ah, there it is. I can see it. No, we've already been to the Water Temple of Adventure 2. That was Knuckles' Aquatic Ruins, Aquatic Mine level. There we go. Now we can break these boxes. And that means that when we flip the gravity round, they won't be in the way. No, I haven't got any rings. Let's hope there's some soon. I don't trust them enemies. I'm scared. Ah! I hate the fact that sometimes I don't know. I don't know if the light dash is going to work or not. I love that random pipe. Woo! Oh cool, it already started me with the fire dash. At least I don't need to do that again. I hate those potentially chaos enemies. Uh, uh, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, I didn't need to be scared. There's no bottomless pit or anything. This is where I need to be careful. Whee! That's better. We are making progress. I forgot how difficult these later levels are. Whoa, that's scary. At least I know how to take those enemies out now. Out of the way. I don't know what you're doing guarding that. Let me in. She will die. And now he's going to say, Sonic, I have made an interstellar amusement park. Well, we found the Chow Garden. Who's hiding all these Chow keys everywhere? Emergency! Emergency! Oh no. I remember this bit was really, really difficult. As a kid. You have to, you have to change the gravity in the right order. Else you, uh, go off the side of the level, basically. Now that we're outside. That's basically the plot of Sonic Colors, isn't it? Eggman's bored, so he made an amusement park in space. Maybe it was following on from Sonic Adventure 2 if you take too long to get to him. That can be your next blog post. Explain the uh, law connections between Eggman's Interstellar Amusement Park and Sonic Adventure 2. Where am I supposed to be going? I think I'm going the right way. I do not understand how the gravity works in this section. Just press buttons and hope for the best. <laughs> yep. There was some interesting lines in Sonic Colors. I really like it, but some people say it's a bit too childish. Or a bit too uh, cartoony. But I like it. It's a nice change of pace. Oh my god, have I made it through in one piece? 
Yay! I think that's like the first time I've actually managed to get through there without any issues. Dun, 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 dun. There's only a few stages left, I think. Hopefully we can finish the hero story tonight. It is getting on for 11 o'clock and I do have to wake up early tomorrow. This is going to be the longest stream in a while, I think. How long have we been going? Three hours and eight minutes. I might skip the Chow Garden here, see whether we can just carry on playing forward a bit more. Welcome to Chow World! The stream is officially longer than Oppenheimer. Sixteen stages, yeah. What was that? Stage fourteen? There's two more. We found him. No, oh, that was fifteen. There's one more then. It's another Sonic level, if I remember right. The really cool one with all the rails and space and stuff. Let's take care of business first, shall we, Sonic? Hand over the Chaos Emerald, slowly, and then we'll talk about your girlfriend. That is, if you really care for her. Handing over the fake emerald? I can kill two birds with- Don't say that out loud, Sonic. He'll hear you. Put the emerald down right there and back off. Does he actually know why he wants it now or not? Turned into a big time villain, Doctor. <laughs> Whoa! You thought you could trick me with that fake emerald? He knew. So how did you know it wasn't the real one? Tails? <laughs> because you just told me, Fox Boy. Space ride. The capsule clears the colony. Bad. I'm counting on you, Tails. Naming. And Tails, this less subtle reaction, just. <laughs> At least the facial animations are a lot better than the first game. Planet that's as cool and blue as him. The same wavelength and properties. Chaos control. Showing off those uh, reflections and transparencies, looking at his eye through the emerald there. Now we have some unfinished business to take care of. Emerald, I will release you both. You have my promise. Sonic! Huh? Sonic is asking for the first time to do something for him. I won't let him down. I won't give up. Poor Tails never got asked to do anything from Sonic. Ever. In his whole entire life. Apart from all the stuff that he asked him to do in the first game. You're no match. Me. Um, I don't know. I want to say he's 11, but I don't know whether I just made that up. Yeah. Are there no rings? All right. You're no okay. Man. Okay. Ah. okay, let me out of the way! All right. You're no man. Uh, I can't move, damn it! He's eight. He's doing alright for an eight-year-old then, isn't he? He's certainly doing a lot more than I was doing at eight years old. Right. Just do not want to be next to him. Where is my homing bullet going there? Yeah, we did it. Okay. Keep running, keep running. Uh, why are you so slow, Tails? Wow, I did that really easily that time. Dun, 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 dun. Wait, Sonic? No, Sonic's not 36. 
I don't know where you're getting this information from. <laughs> There's no way Sonic's 36. Oh, he's 16. Strange hmm. Yeah, Sonic, are you sure you should, you should be bringing Tails into this? It is a bit weird. Okay, what is that enemy then? Tell us that deep lore. Somehow I managed to use the chaos control. Chaos control? Are you okay? I'm worried about Tails and Amy. I hate to ask, but could you help them? This is our last chance. I got it. Before the cannon fires, I'll slam dunk it in there. Am I doing that now? Yeah, final rush. I remember thinking this stage was so cool. Ah, <laughs> yeah, someone else was saying earlier that all the cutscenes in this game have been ruined. I always get really scared on this stage in case I don't land on the rails. I'm not fighting those weird blob enemies. Oh, why did the other one have to have all the rings on it? Whoa! How did I miss the spring? Oh no. Am I going to be able to land on there? Come on. Yes, that was lucky. The rails are actually a lot harder to grind than they are in more modern Sonic games. They don't sort of latch you onto them like they do in um, anything Sonic Heroes onwards. It's very much you have to angle it just right. Yes. Uh, which makes things like that happen fairly often. But at least you get a chance to try and land back on the platform somewhere. I'm getting really lucky. Whoa. How did that miss? I think the rail grinding is the only thing that was actually improved in future Sonic games in terms of controls. Oh my god, I hate these enemies so much! Stop it! Now I never know which one of these to go down. Let's just take a guess. Why didn't I jump properly? I don't know why there's a rail that sends you backwards there. And here. Just to annoy you. I've seen speedrunners do this level in like insane ways where they jump from one rail and skip half the level out and it's just crazy to watch. I wish I had that skill. No, I hate them enemies, go away. I'll try and kill them before they even have a chance to hit me. Hey, we got an extra life. Must be doing okay. Oh. Again, I got lucky there. Whee. Right, after this stage, I'll pause for a second and we can read the comment about what those enemies actually are. Good use of the bounce move there. Uh, I don't know which rail to take. I think I usually go on the one on the right, so let's see where this takes us. 
Yeah, one of those ancient stone tablet things that I don't know how to activate. Oh no! Oh, there's no coming back from that one. Whoa, I love the crazy layouts of the rails in this game. Whoa, I'm glad I managed to get onto that then. Uh, where's it sending me? Whoa. I love how insane this stage is. Uh, they literally went mad with the layouts here. I just wish it would sort of like latch you onto one of the rails, at least a little bit. Because you have to be so precise. It's scary. God, I hate them. Just ignore him completely. Let's take the red one. Oh, no. Ah, run away! That's scary. No! That's not fair, there was nothing I could do about it. Give me rings, give me rings! Oh, okay, a giant ring. I'll take it. Um, as it turns out, the enemy is called Artificial Chaos P1. It was created by Gerald Robotnik as part of an artificial life project uh, to be cyborg copies of the being Chaos. Their design is based on murals of chaos that were shown in the Lost World stage of Sonic Adventure. Wow. So it is related. That's really interesting. Cool, thanks for sharing that. Alright, we're nearly done. Outside the Space Colony Arc. Countdown begins. Here's another cutscene that's been completely ruined by the internet. You never cease to surprise me, Blue Hedgehog. I thought Why is speedrunning related to the radical left? I die hard. You actually saved me, you know. It was a chaos emerald, wasn't it? But there's no way you could have activated the chaos control using an emerald that's fake. So, there's more to you than just looking like it. What are you, anyway? What you see is what you get. Just a guy that loves adventure. So cheesy. Sonic the Hedgehog! I see. But you know, I can't let you live. Are you ready for this really awkward boss fight? Oh, you know what? It's actually sad that it's true. His adventure days were coming to an end. This was the final one. 22, 23 years ago at this point, something like that. Before this is over, I'll show you the true power. Are you ready? Playtime is over. This is the ultimate. I hear that a lot. I don't know what the best way of actually hitting him here is. Just hope that he lines up with um, one of the ring patterns. You can't wait too long else the floor collapses behind you. Uh, that kind of works. Oh, I thought that was going to hurt him then, because he was right in the middle of the rings. I suppose if you get far enough ahead, then you can just uh, mash the attack button at him. Uh, it's so scary when the floor starts collapsing. Uh, 
Ah! No! Leave me alone. This only works one way, Shadow. No, no, no. no! I'm not risking it. I'm scared of running the wrong way as well. I do not want to run off the platforms. We're nearly there. And we have two more boss fights, I think, and then that's in. Yeah, we got an extra life. Yeah, we did it. That was not too difficult. I've never actually done it like that before, where you just mash the attack button when you're close enough to him. More story. Eggman's doing push-ups. Sonic! I did it! Awesome job, Tails! Sonic! Eh? Look outside! Ooh. Look outside, you'll see some CG. Look outside, we made a low budget version of Star Wars. Oh yeah, that is the end of the hero story. Yay! Just made it before 11 o'clock too. Now we get to enjoy this awesome remix of... Um, it doesn't matter, Sonic's theme. I'll turn it up so you can listen. I love this song so much. Well, I don't show up, don't criticize. I'm just yeah, dark story next Tuesday. Look forward to it. And I look forward to reading your blog post. Try not to sing. It's so cheesy, but I love this song so much. Of course. You're a moderator. You have permission to do whatever you want on there. Much to do, where to stop now? It's all blurred, so clear. Well, I don't know, but I can't be wrong. It doesn't matter. Now, what happens? I will never give up the fight. Long as the voice inside drives me to run and fight. Yeah, thanks everyone for being so cool. It's the shoes, remember? You're all wearing really cool shoes. Or even if you're not, you've definitely got some. Yeah, kind of simple plan, yeah. I'll give them a listen after. I'm trying to think who else this reminds me of. It's definitely very early 2000s. It's definitely a lot cheesier than the Sonic Adventure 1 version of this song, which is like a proper rock song, which is also really cool. 
Oh yeah, that's that's where I know him from. <laughs> good. Scooby Doo and Sonic kind of have the same vibe, don't they? In a way, at least the early two thousands versions of them. We did it, guys. That is the hero story complete. So join me next Tuesday, and we'll go through the dark story. But until then, have a great week. And this Man's Friday, oh, here we go. A little preview. On an island in the south, the military's top secret weapon, Shadow, sealed in the space colony park. The Seven Chaos Emerald. When all of the keys have been collected, world conquest will be ahead. Sonic Adventure 2, The Dark Side Story. Long live the Eggman Empire. Exciting. Can't wait for the Dark Side Story. But yes, everyone, thank you. And I was about to say, before I was rudely interrupted by the game there, that hopefully on Friday, my video for Sonic Adventure 1 is coming out. So go and follow me over on YouTube at Retro Break. And I'll see you all again here next Tuesday. Alright, bye for now. Peace.